Wally in Port Ritchie, Florida writes to me, you've spoken in many videos about what you're trying to accomplish when positioning the stereo speakers. Yep. But I have yet to hear you talk about where to place the amp, the preamp, the CD player, and the turntable. I would imagine most people will position their gear between the two speakers, probably in a cabinet, but wouldn't this interfere with the soundstage? Where would you, meaning me, prefer to place the gear that drives the speakers? Well, I've, I've shown this before, but it's probably worth going through again. Th this, this is my preferred method of doing it, where we have the amplification here between the two speakers, not in a cabinet on the floor, so it's out of the way because, yeah, you're right, absolutely. If you have a big cabinet here between, you know, or even a, a rack, it is going to interfere and you're going to hear that. Also, what a pain in the butt to have to come up here to turn something up or down or put a CD in or something right between the speakers. So the best setup is the one that we have here. Amplification over here and sources and what we play with over here. Now, to do that, you have to have some compromises. And as we have said how many times in the past, everything we do is to some degree a compromise. It's just the way life is when we do stuff like this. So the compromise here is that in order to make this work, we're gonna to have to have a long set of interconnects, right? The XLRs that connect up that preamplifier and that power amplifier have to be long. Now, I prefer long interconnects to long speaker cables. So in this case, the speaker cables are quite short. They're all about like that. And the interconnect is quite long. It's also expensive. Those are some pretty wacky interconnects over here that keep all of that running. So this is my preferred setup. Now, a lot of people don't want to have it split up like this. And so my second favorite would be to put the power amps over here, still keeping them out of the middle, and then just run long speaker cables. That would be my secondary recommendation to it. But under no circumstances would I put the whole rack right here unless you're at a trade show. If you have been to Expona, if you've been to the Montreal Hi-Fi show, you will have seen that in every single instance, <laughs> we, we place the equipment right where I'm telling you not to do it, right? And that's because we're at a trade show. And the reason that you're there, we want it to sound good, absolutely. And we do the best we can to make it sound good. But I want you staring at that product. We, this company paid a lot of money to show up at a show and show off our stuff. And so, yeah, that's why we do it. But I think that's confusing to people. I think people see that and go, oh, that's the better way to do it. No, it's the better way to show your stuff off. It ain't the better way to play it and get the most out of your sound. So I hope that answers your question. All right, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.